watching this video, we got a special guest on the channel today. We have Carla, the Oracle Ochoa. Say hi. Hi there. Okay, so we're going to play a little game. I am going to put a secret number right here on the paper. And now I'm going to give our Oracle a hint, but not a very good one. The hint is two. Your secret number is seven. Oh, well done indeed. Okay, let's try it again. Let's do a little bit harder one. Let's throw a negative in here. Here is our secret number, and the hint is negative one. Negative two. Oh, is your secret number. very nice indeed. Okay, so let's see here. Now, the last one. The hint is 10.6. Your secret number is 32.8. Oh, well done, well done indeed. The oracle comes through again. Okay, so we're going to reveal the secret here. They say a good magician never reveals the secret. Clearly, we're not that good, so we're going to go ahead and give it away. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to go through some basic programming operations. We're going to really reveal the secret, and then we're going to uh, show you how to do this trick yourselves if you want. Let's see. We're going to search up JS Fiddle. There we go. We found it. We'll open it up here. Now, this is called a JavaScript sandbox. And what it is, it's a place that allows us to program in JavaScript uh, without really doing anything. So go ahead and actually close up there by the cloud. Perfect. Okay. So we have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The only box we're really going to worry about is JavaScript right here. So let's mm -hmm. check it out. The first thing on our list is probably going to be an alert. So go ahead and type us out an alert here. Whatever you want. Uh, maybe, you know, the, the old classics, the old standby, hello world, the first program you write in pretty much any language. Let's run that thing and see if it works. Oh, and it pops up and it says, hello world. Okay, so the alert, what an alert does is it basically makes a pop-up that has whatever message you want to convey. Let's do one more just for the heck of it. Uh, <clears throat> alert, yeah, let's, let's, see what, uh, let's see what we go with here. I... Class. Oh, perfect. I, I like it. Okay, perfect. Hopefully one day a robot could just replace me. I could stay <laughs> home. I could retire while uh, somebody else teaches or while some machine teaches for me. Hello world. Hi class. Perfect. Okay. So uh, what else? <clears throat> so an alert does that. Now a prompt is kind of an interesting alert where it doesn't convey a message. Well, it conveys a message, but it also gathers information. So for instance, we could prompt something like, what is your name? And we're gonna, yeah, we got those quotes. Is your name perfect? Okay. And here we go. Let's run that. Hello, world. Hi, class. And prompt, what is your name? And now you can see we have a place where we can type in our, uh, we can type in our name. Okay, perfect. Let's hit okay. Okay. Now we got to talk variables a bit. So let's go ahead and say var a equals and whatever value we want. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's go ahead and alert that uh, value of A. Okay, good. Okay. Hello, world. Hi, class. What is your name? And 10. Good. Now, why did it in line five, why did it alert 10 instead of alerting the letter A? Do you know the answer to that? Because... Uh, I need parentheses if I want to show just the letter A. You need the quotations. Yeah, let's quotations. run this one just yeah, just for just for demonstration purposes. Let's run this with the quotations in there. And there's a Hi difference. class, what is your name? And now it's gonna say A instead mm -hmm. of 10, right? Because it's the text string in quotes versus the variable name without the quotes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we go. So there's a now let's do some basic math. Let's, uh, let's add something to a let's actually, I'll tell you what in line five, let's, uh, let's put an, an enter in there. So move, move, uh, alert a down one. Move it down. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And now let's say ver b equals uh, a, a plus five. Plus five. Yeah, nice. Okay. So if A is 10, then it would be 10 plus 5. Right. Okay, okay run it. So we should expect uh, 15. Mm -hmm. And there's 10 and keep it going. Oh, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because we didn't put alert B. Ah, yes. Okay. And let's delete actually some of our earlier stuff. So we don't have to click through okay. it every time. So we're going to delete. Oh, we don't need the name. Either. Yeah, probably not. 
So here we're going to run it. <clears throat> ah, and there it goes. We've alerted 15. Very, very good. Okay. Is there anything else we really need? There's probably not really anything else that we really need. Let's go ahead and go over to our actual uh, to our actual code here. So you can see we started off with variable A equals 7. Uh, variable B equals A plus 2. So let's go ahead and show them the, the reveal here. So for instance, the hint I gave was 2 and the secret number was 7. Now the, re the way I did that was I started with the hint and then I started out by adding 5, dividing by 3, and then subtracting 2 to come up with the hint. So for when I gave the hint, we went in reverse. We added 2, we got 4. We multiplied by 3. Right, yes, thank you for pointing that out with the mouse. Multiply it by three, we got 12. And then we subtracted five and we came up with a secret number there. So let's see how it works. Seven, nine, 27, and 22. Hmm, something uh, interesting. Oh, because that was. So I needed to put the hint. So we put the two in, yes, good. All right, so we start with two and we go to four. Then we go to 12. Then we go to seven oh and. God. Secret number. That's our secret here. number right there. Okay. Do you think that's enough for everyone? Yes. Think that's enough of a hint they can make it? They okay. Can make it. There we go. Okay. Done. 